Hey you guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be using Main Crush once again. I did an initial review not long ago um, and I pretty much loved everything from start to finish except for the styler I chose which was the twist and curl icing. So today we're going to be using the unicorn curls. The owner actually reached out and said I probably would like this much better. So we're going to see how that works out. My hair has already been washed and conditioned so let's just jump right into it so y'all already know the drill but i like to keep this in just in case i have new subscribers i like to make sure that my scalp is nice and oiled and then i'm going to take my first section spray it on down with some water make sure it's nice and damp and then detangle with my tangle teaser ultimate finisher brush um if you want to see how other detangling brushes work on my hair i'll leave that video down below So just like in my main crush initial review, I started with the Fairy Godmother Leave-In. This is supposed to moisturize, condition, define, detangle, and strengthen. It smells really good. It has this nice like tropical fruity smell um, and it's nice and lightweight. So I'm just applying this pretty much as like my primer, my base to get the moisture process started. It's very softening and my curls really like it. So yeah, I started with this and then you guys will see me go on to the unicorn curls. Now the Unicorn Curls is supposed to be a light cream styler, amazing at providing moisture, leaving you with the juiciest twist outs, braid outs, and wash and goes. It does to me smell just like the leave-in that I just used um, and it's pretty lightweight. So. The twist and curl icing, if you didn't watch that video, was lightweight as well, but it was a bit heavier than this unicorn curls. And it also had this like nice like cake type of sweet smell that I really liked. But I did look at the ingredients of both of them. They both include aloe vera, shea butter, sunflower oil, um, but the twist and curl icing also has glycerin and kapuasu oil or kapuasu butter so i'm thinking since it had an extra butter that may have been why that product did not penetrate into my hair and was just feeling really oily and weighed down um so this unicorn curls felt really good on my hair even though it was very lightweight it was very softening it felt good um so I was hopeful that this was going to penetrate and my twist out was going to look good. So I did the exact same thing to the other side, just applied the leave-in, applied the unicorn curls, made sure to, you know, add a generous amount, make sure my hair gets very moisturized. And then I just two strand twisted my hair and I tried to do smaller twists this time just so I could try and get some added definition. So I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this because it's pretty much the same exact thing. Just apply the products, twist, and then I'll show you all of my twists. So I believe I had 15 twists in total, which y'all know typically I have like eight or nine. So I did add a few more um, and then I'm going to just do a spin around and I'll sit underneath my hooded dryer for a bit and then air dry the rest overnight. Y'all already know. Now this is the next day. My twists were completely dry. My twists were looking good, feeling good. So I just took some oil, added that to my hands to, you know, help add a little bit more shine and then also uh, reduce frizz as I take down my hair, separate, etc. So taking down my twist, my definition was looking really, really good. I was feeling really hopeful. Um, I wasn't feeling like I had any like oily greasiness or whatever on my hands so I felt like the product had penetrated into my hair um so I'm just show you what the definition looks like looks so good and then we're gonna separate <laughs> 
So separating my hair y'all, I was not mad at all. Y'all know your twist can look so good, the definition can look so good, but as soon as you separate, like it can just turn into a poof ball. But my definition was definitely holding up. My hair was feeling nice and soft. So um, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through this part as well, you guys. But long story short, I was really liking how my hair was looking and feeling. So this is my hair completely separated. I wanted to show you guys before I started manipulating and styling my hair, but the definition looked really good to me. I really liked it. Um, my hair was super duper soft. It was not oily, was not greasy. So my hair did penetrate this product. Um, the only area in my hair that did have like some frizz was the back section, which if y'all been watching my channel for a while, you should know by now that's like the area that is just hard to really get defined. Like the product has to be amazing to define that part. But yeah, I was liking how my hair was looking, but I wanted to kind of jazz it up. So I did go in with my blow dryer to kind of stretch it. I haven't stretched like a twist out or wash and go in a minute, but I just felt like I wanted to. So I went in, stretched my hair, and then I put it into a half up, half down style with like two pieces on the side for like, you know, cute little bang. This is the finished look. So I thought I was cute. Me and the girls went to the pumpkin patch. We took some pictures. My hair felt good. It looked good. The definition definitely did stay up as well. So yeah. So I just want to thank the owner for actually reaching out to me and giving me an alternative for something that would work for my hair. Um, because although the other product didn't work, this unicorn curls did. So let me know you guys' thoughts on the look, on the product. I'd love to know. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, you guys. And I'll see you in my next video.